This is a narco submarine, a covert maritime vessel built to smuggle drugs from South America to the U.S., and sometimes even Europe. While authorities have seized over 200 in the past decade, many more continue to operate undetected. How do these submarines function? How do they slip past radar and patrols? And what strategies does the Coast Guard use to track them down? There are numerous ways to smuggle cocaine into the high-demand markets of the U.S. and Europe. Every year, authorities seize hundreds of tons before it hits the streets. But even more successfully make it through. In this constant game of cat and mouse, cartels are always inventing new methods to move their goods. What started as simple narco subs for short trips has evolved over time into a highly professionalized operation, creating a hidden industry that continues to grow. This is Oscar Moreno Ricardo, known to Colombian authorities as the king of semi-submersibles. Tucked away deep in the Colombian jungle, hidden along a remote river, he runs a secret shipyard well out of reach of law enforcement. In locations like this, Ricardo and his rivals construct submarines capable of crossing vast ocean distances, smuggling tons of cocaine. These narco subs are designed to stay out of sight. This is a classic narco submarine, first appearing in the late 2000s, and they're still being intercepted today. Measuring around 14 meters in length, it's not a true submarine, but a low-profile vessel. Its design keeps most of the hull just below the waterline, with the top remaining above the surface and blending in with the sea. This low profile makes it difficult for radar systems to detect. At the moment, it's headed toward Central America. The vessel is constructed using lightweight fiberglass or composite materials, making it maneuverable while carrying a substantial cargo of up to 7.7 .7 tons, often filled with illicit goods like cocaine. Inside, the vessel accommodates a crew of four to six individuals who operate the engine located at the rear. The diesel engine, usually generating 200 to 300 horsepower, pushes the sub forward at a speed of 16 kilometers per hour enabling it to travel for up to 1,500 to 2,000 nautical miles on a single fuel load. Operating just below the water's surface, they are often equipped with minimal navigation tools, depending on more rudimentary systems for guidance. The result is a vessel that's both stealthy and capable of long-range travel, making it a crucial part of the smuggling operation. A Coast Guard plane is conducting a routine patrol over the open ocean when its radar picks up a faint, low-profile vessel moving far from shore. The vessel's unusual route and speed raise suspicions. The crew switches to infrared sensors, detecting a heat signature from the engine, confirming it's not a typical boat. The five smugglers are caught with their cargo, cocaine worth over $200 million. If the authorities hadn't acted fast, the smugglers could have used a valve to flood the submarine sinking it and losing all the evidence. This crew had a short trip, but others travel much longer distances. In another part of the Amazon, a narco vessel sets off near Manaus, Brazil, heading toward the mouth of the Amazon River. This semi-submarine named CH is over 20 meters long. On board are three men. This vessel is heading to cross the Atlantic at around 19 kilometers per hour traveling a distance of 6,000 to 12,000 kilometers from the Brazilian rainforest to Europe. The trip will take about two weeks, if everything goes as planned. This narco sub is larger and more modern than the first one. It has three compartments, the engine at the back, the crew area in the middle, and the cargo hold. Nearly half the sub space is dedicated to fuel, with three massive tanks holding 20,000 liters to ensure it can make the long journey. The journey was brutal for the crew. They battled through three violent storms, narrowly avoiding a collision with a large cargo ship and pushed forward in a vessel that was slowly becoming less reliable. After 27 days at sea, they had finally crossed the Atlantic, but their struggles weren't over. The submarine ran out of fuel, forcing them to travel twice as long as expected due to the rough weather. So the crew decided to sink the vessel Using night vision technology, Spanish officials spotted the vessel's final moments as it sank. 
Later, all crew members were arrested. Spanish police successfully refloat the sunken submarine and seize it. Inside, they discover three tons of cocaine, valued at approximately $100 million. Let's take a look on a snorkel sub. At first glance, this vessel looks like a real submarine, with its typical cylindrical shape and a length of around 24 meters. It's designed to almost fully submerge, with only a snorkel sticking out from the top. The snorkel allows the sub to draw in air to cool its diesel engine and provide fresh oxygen for the crew. This is why it's known as a snorkel sub. Powered by a diesel engine, it also has an onboard generator to supply electricity to various systems, including a camera mounted at the top of the snorkel. This camera helps the crew monitor their surroundings while submerged. The vessel also features ballast tanks, allowing it to take in water and dive deeper if it senses danger. The interior of the snorkel sub is tight, but surprisingly sophisticated. It's equipped with basic amenities like a small toilet and sink, small comforts that make the long, grueling journeys more bearable for the crew. Capable of carrying up to eight tons of cocaine, the sub can travel thousands of kilometers, from Colombia to destinations like Mexico or even further. To date, none of these submarines have been caught at sea. While some have been intercepted on land, their success rate suggests they're highly effective. This makes sense, as the sub's design makes it difficult for patrol aircraft to spot. Its camera system allows the crew to navigate and evade Coast Guard ships with remarkable agility, making it a much harder target to track. In November 2020, law enforcement made an astonishing discovery deep in the Colombian jungle. A fully submersible narco submarine measuring 12 meters long, Unlike traditional subs, it has no fuel storage or diesel engine. Instead, this vessel is powered by 10 tons of batteries driving two electric motors. The submarine is equipped with dive planes to control its depth and can travel for about 12 hours at a speed of 5 kilometers per hour. Its range is limited to about 60 kilometers. While it's not fast or capable of long journeys, that's not its purpose. This submarine is equipped with a towing ring that allows it to be pulled by larger ships over long distances without being detected. When they reach the destination, or if law enforcement appears, the crew simply unhooks and continues on their own. This sub is incredibly hard to spot. In fact, it's never been found in action, and authorities have only discovered this single one in the Colombian jungle. However, it's likely that many more exist, silently operating out on the waters. We can infer that this narco sub, like others, is incredibly successful. When a sub completes its journey, it often ends up in a massive graveyard on the ocean floor. Nearly all of these vessels are designed for a single use, built to make one trip and then sink, leaving no trace behind.